So if this life is not perfectly good, but it is not perfectly bad either, what is it then? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Inna ma'al usri yusra. So this ayah is super deep and it is um, also very misunderstood and it is often even mistranslated. Okay. So this particular ayah from in, that is in, in Juz Amma, it is um it, it says that inna indeed ma'al usri yusra, that indeed with the difficulty is general ease. And this is grammatical in the sense that difficulty in this ayah is specific and singular. Inna ma'al usri, so alif lam is specific and singular. Inna ma'al usri yusra. Yusra here is general. So what the ayah is saying is that with any specific singular hardship comes along with it along with it this is the ma here is so important and it should actually transform the way we view our lives the ma just the word ma ma does not mean after this ayah does not say after the hardship will come ease it doesn't say that it says with the hardship comes general ease that's actually a game changer because what Allah is telling us is that this is the design of the universe that with every hardship with every single hardship that Allah gives you he will give you it, 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 he will give you general and abundant ease along with the hardship it's not after the hardship only it is along with the hardship as well now, why does that? Why is that so transformational? Well, it it changes what we focus on. It changes what we become attuned to. If I am thinking, "Oh my God, everything is so bad right now," and nothing is good right now, because why do I start to feel that way when I'm going through difficulty? A lot of it doesn't have to do with the reality but has more to do with the perception and even deeper to do with the focus. So if my focus in the difficulty is only on the difficulty, only on the challenge, only on the fear, only on the pain and the loss, I will naturally not see the ease and the blessings that I actually have at that very moment. It's not that I have to wait for those blessings to come, but I already have them. And yet I am not seeing them because I am so hyper-focused on the difficulty and the challenge. So this is one of those concepts I cover um, in the class Transformed. So, so, so what I do in this class is I take this wide array of you know, practical sort of experiences that we go through in life you know, pain, loss, um, our, our spiritual connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how we deal with our family, how we deal with our, within our marriages, how we deal within our, um, you know, our social, uh, our social groups and our, and our careers. And then talking about love, talking about what is healthy love, what is unhealthy love, and then talking about how to navigate our challenges in life and, and really just changing the way we look at our lives and then the way we respond to our lives. But one of the most essential things to find peace within the difficulties, not just after the difficulties, because difficulties are always coming, you know, in, in waves, <laughs> right? They don't stop. And so find, we have to find the ability to, to have peace within the difficulty. And, and one of the only ways to do that is to really change our lens, to change our understanding, and to change our focus. So the first sort of principle that I want to um, convey is that inna ma'al usri yusra, that indeed with the hardship is general ease. It's not just after you don't say, okay, it's all bad right now, and that I have to wait for ease and I have to wait for blessings. You have them right now, but you just aren't seeing them. You just haven't given focus to them. And because you haven't given focus to them, they seem to you as insignificant. All right. Let me just give you an example. Um, you know, the, the, the person who is struggling in their relationship, say, since I gave that example, um, or maybe they have a relationship that ended. But at the same time, that same individual is healthy. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them health. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not tested them at that same time with disease, cancer, or, or any of the other, um, you know, many diseases that other people are being tested with. That same individual may not be tested with poverty at the same time that they have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them uh, provision has given them risk has given them safety has they Allah has not tested them with the tests that people in other parts of the world where where they're literally their life is in danger every single day uh, you know that there is they're they're in war zones places where their homes can be bombed uh, places where their families are not safe and so while that individual and it is it is it isn't to minimize the the difficulties that we go through but it is more to widen the lens and to recognize the and really to contextualize those difficulties to be able to see more it isn't and i think it's very important because on the one hand you know like for example in counseling you you know that one of the most important things that you that you do as a counselor is to legitimize the, the, the experience of the individual, of the client, right? To legitimize, not to uh, minimize, not to, 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 you know, to, that's the whole concept of, of gaslighting is that when you're minimizing or delegitimizing a person's reality or experience. So it isn't about delegitimizing that pain or saying it doesn't matter. You know, sometimes people will use this type of rhetoric to, to invalidate someone's experience or invalidate or minimize someone's pain and that isn't uh what what is being said here at all rather that experience is very real and the pain is very real the loss is very real but it isn't about um it, so it isn't about saying that that's not important but it's more about widening the lens to include the other experiences that are simultaneously uh you know happening at the same in the same time that yes that 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 pain is very real the pain of loss the pain of losing a loved one uh, of 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 a of a broken relationship uh the pain of 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 sickness uh whatever that that test whatever that challenge is uh is very real but it's 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 about widening that lens to include the other experiences that you are simultaneously um, being given by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So when Allah says Inna ma'al usri yusra, you know He's not saying that the usr is not real. He's not saying that the difficulty isn't isn't legitimate, but rather that He gives us the capacity at the same time in order to help us to cope with that very legitimate pain and that very legitimate difficulty.